If you are constantly battling the storage almost full notification on your iPhone, you are not alone. Today I'll show you some simple and effective ways to free up space and keep your iPhone running smoothly. First, let's deal with the Photos app. Tap on Settings, scroll down and tap on Photos. Make sure iCloud Photos is turned on. This will sync your photos with iCloud. Tap on Optimize iPhone Storage. This keeps smaller space saving versions of your photos on your iPhone while the full resolution versions are stored on iCloud. The next thing we are going to do to free up space on your iPhone is to tackle WhatsApp storage. This is assuming that you have a lot of audio files, video files and pictures taking up space in your WhatsApp. So open WhatsApp and go to the settings tab, tap on storage and data, select manage storage to see the amount of storage used by WhatsApp and a list of WhatsApp conversations sorted by site. Tap on a conversation taking up the significant amount of storage, review the details that is the files that uh, were sent and received in that particular conversation, select the files you want to remove and tap on delete at the bottom of your screen, of course. Now, the next thing we are going to look at to enable you free up space on your iPhone is to clear your browser cache. This is a temporary storage area in your device that holds copies of frequently accessed web pages, images and other online, online content and clearing it will definitely help in recovering more space in your device. So to do this, we go to settings, scroll down to Safari or Chrome depending on the one you use, select clear history and website data. Another way you can recover some storage space is to use the offload on use apps feature of your iPhone. This will remove apps that you don't use often and keep your data so you can reinstall them later without using any information. So to get this done, open settings, go to general, tap on iPhone storage, enable offload on used apps. So basically, when you are using your phone, it offloads unused apps for you to free up space so that your, dev your device storage doesn't get clogged up. Here is how to find and remove other large files or apps on your device. So to do that, go to settings, go to general, tap on iPhone storage. If you have any attachments large enough to take up a significant amount of storage, you'll see review large attachments under recommendations. You'll see all the large files sent or received in your iMessage tap edit, select the files, and hit done to delete them. Some apps also allow you to clear cache or temporary files within their settings. So check the settings of individual apps to clear the cache and free up more space. Lastly, move files to cloud services like iCloud or Dropbox or Google Drive to free up local storage. That is, files that are large and you feel are occupying a lot of space, instead of deleting them, you can move them to the cloud. That will allow you to free up space in your device. So if you are using um, Google Photos, you can back up your photos to your Google Cloud. Or if you are using Dropbox, you can set up the setting that sends all your pictures directly to your Drop Dropbox account. And of course, you can do the same to iCloud to ensure that not a lot of images are stored in your device. Rather, they are automatically uploaded to your storage, cloud storage, and frees up a lot of space for you to use for your day-to-day -day activity. And that's it. Uh, with these tips, you should be able to keep your iPhone storage in check and avoid that annoying storage almost full notification. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.